watching LA New T360. You're watching LA360. LA New T360. You're watching LA New T360. journey to Akome Agate in Agote region. Akome Agate is one of the communities in the Akome traditional area, specifically located in the whole west district of the Agote region, under the reign of Togbega Debra the Third. It is about 30 minutes drive from the regional capital, Ho. The community has kindergarten, primary one to primary six, as well as junior high school, which serves students from and outside the community. The residents are predominantly subsisting farmers and petty traders. As such, some young men are artisans like mason, carpenters, plumbers, painters, just to mention a few. Nonetheless, motorcycle business, also known as Okada, Zemija, is also one of the lucrative businesses of the youth within the community. This project explores the profile of the community, taking into consideration the development of projects, the needs, as well as the challenges facing the community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Akome Hagate. I'm Tobuiga, the brother Ted, the paramount chief of Akome Trust area. I've been ruling for about 52 years now. My name is Honorable Design Aja, Assembly Member of Akome Electoral Area. In the Electoral Area in Uwe District, in the Portal In my Electoral Area, we have three communities Akome Agate, Akome Bugame, Akome Portal. I will really talk only about Akome Agate for now. My name is Enes Akpa. There are a few challenges facing the community that I would like to talk about. At first, we had water issues. However, that has been resolved and now the wall holes are in good conditions and are flowing quite well. Our chief and his elders are doing their best in ensuring that everything moves smoothly in the community. I started my basic education from here to my SHS and during my school days, education then, uh, we school in a touch house. The whole building was touched, the classroom was not cemented, so we have to go and get mud and smear on the floor to keep the classroom tidy there. But then we also have a sand corner where we used to write uh, alphabet in the sand corner. Uh -huh. So we grew up throughout my basic education to GSS and completed GSS in 1997. And God be so good, I did well. And I had admission to even go to Mauli Secondary School before. But due to financial challenges of my parents, we also have a secondary school here, so I have no choice to attend a senior secondary technical techniques. So in Akome generally, there have been a great lot of transformation. During our time, there are a lot of touch houses with mud. But as compared to now, as compared with now, oh, there's a great transformation. Even then, our road was very dusty. So there has been a great transformation as years are unfolding. So we thank 
God for how far he has brought us as a town. And we are doing well and there is much for us to do to develop our town. Come here, Jake. We've done a lot of success in the past years. In terms of education, we've done a lot. I put up a toilet facility and a washroom for the children, which is in progress. We have a canteen which is in progress. We have a library which is in progress. All these projects that I've mentioned have been done by the community itself. When it comes to sanitation in the terms of toilet facility, the community is also trying its best to put up a public toilet in order to help the community. I'm Beauty from Akomagafe. I would like to talk brief about our community. We have been able to make progress in terms of provision of basic social amenities such as schools, portable water, and ultramodern toilet facilities owing to the relentless efforts by the good people of Akomagafe through contributions made during the annual festive celebration aided by the Paramount Chief Togbe Deborah III, not forgetting our member of parliament Honorable Imano Kosi Bejra, our Assemblyman, Honorable Divan Aja, and all citizens for their contributions at the just ended annual celebration. I would thus like to call on surrounding thousand villages to do the same in order to bring significant development to our constituency. <laughs> Well, we are now having a lot of problems on our development projects. We remember that recently we had our 24 seater toilets. We got a NS coffee at home. I go by the name of Nese Kofi Aholu. I was the chairman for the unit committee, now a unit committee member. It is very important to have toilet facility in every civil society. Our current public toilet is very old and dilapidated. Hence, we have taken it upon ourselves to construct a 24-seater ultramodern toilet facility for the community, which commenced late last year. Due to lack of funds for the project, we have decided to use proceeds of the contributions made at this year's festive celebration without waiting on the government or any organization to come to our rescue. We have other equally important projects lined up. However, our main target for this year and the time being is to construct an ultramodern toilet infrastructure for the community. We have also been able to purchase majority of the materials such as the toilet seat and among others for the completion of the project. As such, one must be excited and proud being a part of this project by way of his or her sacrifices in ensuring that the project has gotten to this level. Moreover, one major challenge hindering the project has been lack of funds for the digging of the manhole and the purchase of iron rod for the construction of a septic tank. My name is Katha Prosper. As you can see, there is an ongoing project right before us. The purpose for this project is to establish traditional council for the communities and also to regard the brother this project is partly funded by the contributions made during 2020-2021 festive celebration. This is to make it quite easy for deliberation on issues bordering the communities and also amicable settlement of disputes between parties when the needs arise. Having said that, the project is not yet complete, so we are therefore appealing for help in order to complete the project. Tobegan Deborah III has recently called on the remaining two communities to come and help complete the project since it is going to be traditional council for the entire Kome communities. 
Now we are now going for another project, which is project of uh, water. Somebody may ask me where we get our finance before we provide our facilities. But funding comes from uh, the the celebration, yearly celebration of Guren Musa or Guren Festival. And then we contribute immensely for that. And then we get some fun also from some of the individuals, donations from individuals. And then we are now working seriously for the betterment of our There has been a rise in the issue of substance abuse among the young ones within the community, which has become a major worry to us. This worrying trend is mainly as a result of parental irresponsibility, or better still, parents checking off their responsibilities. This issue of substance abuse is impacting the community negatively and therefore bringing its name into disrepute. How does like to suggest that a committee be instituted in order to safeguard the behavior of these young ones and also appropriate sanctions be meted out to any person caught engaging in such activities. Finally, my piece of advice to the young ladies is that they should learn a trade or better still engage in farming activities if school is not the option. And uh, the behavior of people, at times, people behave, some of people behave abnormally with apology because they take a lot of drugs that what I've learned. So I'm just advising them that, that taking of drugs will not lead them to any place. Some people feel that they are, when they take those drugs, they feel they are, they are big. It will land them in a what? In a jail. So I am just advising them that they should stop. I appreciate the efforts of the people. And then to acknowledge some people, the first person I will acknowledge with all pleasure is Honorable Bejira Emmanuel is for his benevolent donations he normally gives us. He's so friendly and he opens his arms to anybody who sees me, sees him. We appreciate his efforts. Another person is Honorable Chief Executive. Apao is also helping a lot when the need arises. So we are very grateful to them. Another group of the people who are uh, the community and then the committee of Biren Festival. They did a lot for us. So through them that we got a lot of money and we were able to to do our work, to finish our toilet facilities and other work. So I give my honor to them. Having said that, I would like to appeal to the general public and whoever could help us fix the road leading to our school campus. Now, Still, we have a lot to do for the people, but we need a lot of money.
So I'm just appealing for the NGOs, NGOs, the government, the benevolent people, and then individuals for financial assistance. And we also pleading for the people, pleading for my people that also to give, donate generously so that our projects come to a fruitful end.